I'm Sony artist and David McLean, and I recently got to shoot with the new A7S in Brazil during the World Cup. Brazilians play and watch soccer with a sense of joy and passion that's truly beautiful to behold. We were there working on Bounce, a feature-length documentary film that sets out to answer a simple question. Why do people everywhere play ball? The A7S is a full-frame, 35mm sensor optimized for 4K. In this Brazilian favela, we flew the camera and 4K recorder on our Steadicam to follow kids on their way to play soccer. The picture quality out of this small camera is simply remarkable. You need an external recorder to capture 4K with the A7S, and this time-lapse shows you how we configured our rig in a Zacuto Swiss cage. The whole setup was remarkably stable, despite being used almost exclusively on the run. It's hard to believe such an inexpensive camera can be so versatile and open up the world of 4K to filmmakers. The A7S shoots 1080 at 60p and 720 at 120p, which adds slow motion to the filmmaker's toolbox. When we found these jugglers in Salvador, slow-mo is the obvious choice. This footage was all shot at 120 frames per second. We shot night soccer in Salvador at ISO 3200 using S-Log2 in the picture profile setting. As you can see, the entire pitch was only lit with a few street lights. There's a little noise, but in the past we would have had to walk away from this amazing scene because there was not enough light to even think about picking up a camera. There was no way to pull focus running with the kids, so we often relied on autofocus. It's remarkable how well the A7S was able to find focus in this fast action, low light scene. People love watching soccer almost as much as they love playing it. Shooting this night scene of people watching the World Cup using S-Log2 gave us more dynamic range. The colors flat right out of the camera when you use S-Log2, but a little grading in post-production makes it shine. At the end of the day, that's really the whole point of gear and technology. To enable new kinds of coverage and richer storytelling. It's as simple as that, and always has been for me. During our time in Brazil, especially when the light was low, that's just what the A7S did. Mm -hmm.